Hi, it's Mark with At My Home, and today we're going to take a really quick look at the Drock, and this is a voltage tester for a USB. It's something I needed to figure out, like how much power do things like the cameras draw in this little stick here that goes with a twinkly music. Um, so what I did was I said, well, let's get one of these things. I found this device, and it's kind of cool, very small. And let's see, here it is. That's it. This is the little Drock. It has a USB-A on one end. This is the input. So, for example, if you want to test the voltage coming out of a power adapter or whatever else you can. And then it has two outputs on it. And, of course, we have a portable charger. I'm going to see how much power this thing puts out and whether it can power up these devices. And we'll measure it with a Drock. So it's cool. It's got two outputs on it. So you plug this into the input. So, for example, plug it in here. All right, it's plugged in. And then what I can do is I can turn it on. If I can remember where the button is. All right, here we go. So turned it on. And as you can see, it's showing the voltage. Take a look. So it shows five volts and should be no amperage because I want to know how many amps this thing's pulling as well. So let me plug these guys in. Let's see, first of all, we'll try the little, little thing from Twinkly. And uh, we'll plug this in. And we'll turn the power back on. And you see it's drawing almost no amperage at all. But it's 5 volts coming out and coming into the device. And it's drawing like, what's it? Looks like 0.1 amps. So it doesn't take a lot of power to run this thing. But it's working. All right. And then we'll plug it in to this little camera. This is a little indoor camera. And we'll plug her in. We'll turn on the power. And there you go. Again, this is not taking a lot of power to run this camera. You can see the little red lights on, so it's working. So you can see it draws more power depending on what it's doing. So I think usually these cameras will bring up the Wi-Fi and everything else. They'll start drawing more power. So it's about, what, 0.3, maybe a little more uh, amps coming out of, the, out of the camera. But it varies over time, and you can watch that and see how it's working. All right, so let's try this fancier camera. Look at this little cat thing. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to plug this in. Now, this is a pan and tilt camera. Let's see if it takes any more power. All right, now I've got this thing plugged in, and the little red light should come on when I press the button here. And sure enough, the red light's coming on, so this camera's booting up. And check it out here. So this one here on boot up is taking more power, right? Well, let's see, 0.1. No, so actually not too bad. And uh, it's drawing 5 volts, but now it's starting to increase a little bit as it tries to come up. So that's it. This is the Drock. I, I love it. It's like so simple and easy. It's great for USB-A. It, it doesn't do USB-C, so this is all USB-A connections in it and everything else. But it's perfect, single purpose, measuring USB uh, voltage and amperage. Thank you for watching.